welcome back to my channel. I am the Sinister One, and today I'll be doing a DVD, Blu-ray, VHS update for the month of March, 2016. Thanks for tuning back in, guys. I got a great haul for the month of March, so a lot of VHS tapes to show off, quite a few DVDs, and a few Blu-rays. So, here we go with three non horror. We'll just get these out of the way real quick. Dog Day Afternoon, Del Pacino, Lance Hendrickson, quite a few people in this. I used to own it, but it disappeared, so I found it for a good price and picked it back up again. Here we have. X-Men First Class. This is a good film. And then we have a special edition of The Usual Suspects. So a great cast. Got it in a standalone edition. And I was only able to find one Midnight movie. This one has The Phantom of a Thousand Leagues and the beast with a million eyes. Here we have The Possession with Jeffrey Dean Morgan which was a pretty good film, I didn't mind it. Here we have Witch House 3 Full Moon found these at Dollar General so I had to scoop them up Found a new copy of the others, so I'll be replacing this with my used copy. MTV movie Beneath. I've never seen this one. Found a new copy of The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Mine was all used and battered and beat. So, for a cheap price, I went ahead and picked it up. Got a special edition of The Howling. So, finally got a standalone copy. We have Death Tunnel. Never seen it. Here we have a film with Bela Lugosi. The Return of the Vampire. And here was something that caught my interest. The Secret Village. Looks like a cult type of film. We have another Full Moon. Tomb of Terror. Here we have Clive Barker's Book of Blood. Haven't seen this in a while, so I'll have to revisit it. Now here we have some 1980s goodness. The Erotic Nights of the Living Dead. Directed by Joe D'Amato, starring George Eastman. I popped this in a few nights ago. And it is very Italian. The zombies are really, really cheesy looking, but it does have that feel to it. There's a couple cool scene effects, a lot and a lot of nudity. So if you're into all that nudity, and this is a film for you, it is very erotic, very pornographic, but in a sleazy kind of way so and George Eastman you know ran around hacking zombies heads off with a machete so he's doing the hacking this time and you know the zombies really run around in bed sheets but there are some cool 
effects with heads rolling and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, I really enjoyed this film. I love my zombie type films, especially Italian cinema. This one was pretty good. So I crossed this off my 1980s list. So going down the list, almost getting them all. And here we have another, like a documentary, Monsters Gone Wild by Full Moon. And I found some multi-packs, so I got a special place in my collection for the multi-packs. They're not in my movie collection, they're just in a certain spot where I have the multi-pack collection. And this one was where evil lives, or where evil lies, excuse me. And it's a six movie collection, it has Population 436, Incubus, Devour, Windchill, Candy Strippers, and The Cottage. The Cottage is funny. I really enjoyed The Cottage. I have that in the standalone edition. But I haven't seen any of the rest, so if you have, leave some comments down below and let me know how they are. And then here we have another one. This one has Candy Strippers as well, and She Creature. I've yet to see these two films. And then we have Animal Apocalypse. This one has four movies. It has Ka, which I have in a standalone. Bats Human Harvest, I have that in a standalone. Nightwing and Fatal Contact Bird Flu in, in America. So yeah, why not buy it for a few bucks and put it in the multi pack section. Here we have a cool one. Sci-Fi Creature Classics. This one has the Giant Claw, 20 Million Miles to Earth, Mothra, It Came from Beneath the Sea. I remember watching these on TV when I was really young. So this was a cool find. And here's one I used to own, but it ended up coming up missing, so... I do have Bad Moon in a standalone, which is pretty hard to find. Uh, this one has Coma, Wolfing, and the remake of The Invasion. It says Body Snatchers, The Invasion Continues. So it's kind of like a... Probably a sequel to the 70's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It was a really good film. I really enjoyed that film. It has a lot of actors in it. A lot of great actors. I need to get the three of them in a standalone edition. I've seen Coma out there in the wild so next time I go I'm going to pick that one up. Definitely get the Body Snatchers and then try to get the, the Blu-ray of Wolfen. I haven't seen Coma yet, so if you guys have seen Coma, leave a comment and let me know how it is. And here we have a really, really special film right here. This is a Scream Factory release, but it was recalled because a schizoid, aka a lizard in a woman's skin, in a woman's skin. It's a Lucio Fulci film, but. I guess they didn't have the rights to it or someone, so they recalled it. There's another release, and it has a different film in place of this, which I'll pick up next time around. But, glad to put this in my collection, so The Godsend, The Vagrant, and The Outing, which I watched The Vagrant last night, and that was a really good film. I really enjoyed that one. Really cheesy, but Bill Paxton did a great job. And before these tip over, reorganize these real quick. Alright. Now on to the Blu-rays. Which I got the Mist.
collector's edition. I've been wanting this on Blu-ray forever because it comes with the black and white version of the film. So I can't wait to check it out in black and white. So Stephen King's The Mist. Here we have a Scream Factory, The Guardian. I remember this when I was a kid. A really great film, really creepy. Another Scream Factory, Jack Spack, James Spader. Really love his acting. So, in this one, there's a copycat Jack the Ripper killer out there. And James Spader is some kind of like journalist and he's <laughs> trying to figure out who's doing the killing so really good film from back in the day when I used to rent VHS tapes that was the last time I seen it so and then here we have another one that I crossed off my 1980s list this one is <clears throat> all the way from South Korea Encounters of the Spooky Kind with Sammo Pung. So it is the Blu-ray. And it comes with some comes with eight picture cards, which I thought is pretty cool. So another film off my nineteen eighties list. There is a sequel to this, so I'll be picking that one up. Really doesn't go with this film, is what I heard, but it's another one of those rare films to, that are hard to find. has got some cool makeup effects. And then this one's just the cover. So I was really happy to find this one. Put it in my collection, take it off the 1980s list. Alright, that was the four Blu-rays I picked up. Now on to the massive haul of VHS. So I'm just going to move these out of the way real quick so they don't tip over. Alright, on to the VHS tapes. Starting with Ghost Town. Picked it up. Then we have another rarity. Headhunter. Haven't seen it yet, so it looked pretty good. I saw a preview. And then we have the unnameable. Been really wanting to see the unnameable. And here's one from back in the day, Mirror Mirror. And I remember that hologram. Really cool stuff, so can't wait to watch this again. Here we have the unnameable two. Tracy Lords, Shock 'em Dead. I need to pick up the Blu ray because it just got released, so. VHS, why not? Here we have uh, Lewis Gossett Jr. and Bram Stoker's The Mummy, which I don't remember this one at all, so. 
I have to check this one out. I love my mummy films. Here we have Sometimes They Come Back Again. Evil Dead 2. I have the special edition to this on VHS, so I need to get this copy. This this movie brings back so many good memories. Because the first time I watched it was on VHS. And here we have the original Godzilla movie. King of the Monsters. So VHS, and here we have the outing, which is aka the lamp. And here we have 54, Nev Campbell, Mike Myers, Selma Hayek, Ryan Phillippe. So, we're checking this one out. Another good gangster film from back in the day, Blue Hill Avenue. Really enjoyed this one. At the Tommy Knockers. The Lawnmower Man, Pierce Bronson and Jeff Fahey. And then sometimes they come back, the first one. H.G. Wells, Empire of the Ants. Here we have Breeders. Blockbuster Classics, Night of the Living Dead, which I thought this was really cool. Really love the cover art. Green and purple. So. Definitely had to pick that one up. Abbott and Costello meet the mummy. Spookies. And the shining. Psychomania. 1971 and then visible agent and here we have two Elvira VHS tapes Mistress of the Dark so I picked them both up I just couldn't leave them sitting there on the shelf so really getting into the VHS collecting again and you know, if it has anything to do with the genre or something really interesting, I'll pick it up, put it in my collection. My VHS collection is getting pretty big now. You know, DVDs, major collection. And the Blu-rays are starting to rack up, so. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you next time. I'll be doing a review on a film. Because I haven't done a review in a while. So I'll be doing a review shortly after this video gets posted. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you again next time.